Hey guys, what's going on? It's Twintuitive717. I am back with another reading, guys. Here hanging with Mega Good Vibes. She's just resting, so I won't bother her. Um, but I thought I'd hop on quickly. It won't be a long message because I am a little under the weather, but um, yeah, I want to do some messages from the Divine Masculines, okay? Let's find out what they want to communicate to you tonight. Happy Friday, guys, by the way. Friday night. Woohoo! Alright, what's your person thinking? What's on their mind? What do they wish to communicate? Okay, this is too many, but I'll just take what came face up. Yeah, I think a lot of you might be feeling this tonight. It's been coming up with the Masculine Collective a lot, okay? I miss you. It's so intense. It hurts. I feel like the intensity, too, is coming from... Um, you know when it's like no one else understands what you're going through and I feel like whatever they're going through you understand because you've experienced the same type of like symptoms you know where it's like you kind of feel the tower moments like your life is changing everything is falling apart and the only thing that does start to make sense is your connection to your counterpart so I feel like this person is missing genuine connection in their life and right now like they may be reflecting and they may be thinking that that's only felt with you okay because as you start to ascend your eyes start to open up you don't see things the same way you, you start seeing things for like what they are you know so they could be feeling really isolated away from like family and friends which is why they're missing you because the only thing that feels familiar is the one thing they have on their mind consistently um which is you whoever's listening okay we have romantic feelings and honeymoon it could be that because it's around the holiday time, they really miss you. This person could be just starting to understand like what it means to like attract your 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 tribe. Like, do you know what I mean? It's like they they could be around like people they've been around all their lives, and it's like now that they're starting to shed layers and and go deeper onto the journey. Okay, a lot of these romantic feelings too um, have been almost like you know driving this okay your energy whoever you are the way you've come into their life the way you've assisted them or helped them to see things differently or to change things or to start thinking in a different way it's like you know they see you as like you know the person who initiated them <laughs> onto that path of just seeing things differently so you know they they miss you okay they, they keep thinking romantic feelings another thing too that i'm getting with romantic feelings is um like i feel like for a lot of you the tables have turned and your masculine misses the way that you you used to want them or need them okay they're, they're missing that okay the holiday time could be reminding them of that like maybe you guys connected during like thanksgiving or like something about like the fall season or rolling into christmas or you know there's something about that that makes them feel like i miss you like i feel nostalgic about you okay they miss the way that you used to like show them a lot of affection and attention they miss the way that you would want them i feel like that energy is not the same okay so you you could have a divine masculine who's in a lot of regret over like over having this at one point and then carelessly losing it okay i feel like that's why we miss you so much and it is intense it hurts um many of you could be feeling the exhaustion okay feeling really tired feeling really foggy you yourself could be exhausted thinking about your divine masculine a lot it's like many of you know they want you to communicate or they want you to reach out um, and how you know that too is like normally when they're really quiet like this they would block you but it's like they're not doing that because I think they're hoping in some way shape or form you're going to reach out and if they block you they're in their head they they might they're thinking that they might like miss out on a message from you okay that's how much they're hoping okay uh, what else is in their mind what else do they want to reveal guys again i apologize for sounding so congested it's just because like certain words i want to say i can feel it having to say it through like my mouth and my nose closes up so again i'll try to keep the message um short and sweet here but what else is this person 
wanting to reveal during this moment of like vulnerability okay they miss you it's, it's intense and it hurts let's see what's wanting to slip out here so we have wedding this situation involves marriage this could be something too like look you have wedding and honeymoon <laughs> okay so it's it, the combination of these two cards with romantic feelings tells me it's like they could have had it it was right there in their hands okay they could have had it all um what's here is face up as religious factors that could be why they're missing you it's almost like you two come from two different worlds they might have been influenced by the people around them that's why it sucks so much to go through what they're going through and missing you because maybe they're also irritated or angry and again a lot of you could be sensing that energy too coming from them um that now that they've come to where they've come to on the path and they know who you are they can feel who you are they're like kicking themselves in the butt for taking advice or taking counsel from other people um, and it's like they let these other people shape their behaviors and their attitude towards you okay and they're feeling a lot of regret for doing that because i feel like many of you okay what i'm getting is like the reason it's so intense here is because this person is now seeing who you are okay they can't deny the romantic feelings okay there's a close connection here to you now the reason this is hurting them so bad is because like the people that they took advice from they now feel isolated from or it's like now that the the, the i was gonna say shades <laughs> so now that the sunglasses have come off um that's why they're kicking themselves in the butt because now they can see clearly you know and i feel too that during all of this time with these differences between you two and people were in their ear about you um i feel like during all of this time like many of you kept cool right it's like people had a lot to say about you but the universe kept shifting things in your favor so it's like people would say one thing to your divine masculine and then it's like a week later they would be looking at you celebrating some kind of victory or opportunity that's come your way or just watching you glow up and be more abundant and i feel like you know they're like damn like why do i keep listening to other people okay so they might be like quiet right now um what came face up here is express your love they could be wanting to do that very much they they could also be hoping um that you'll reach out in some way shape or form make a romantic gesture maybe i i think that with everything they know all of the knowledge that they have on the twin flame journey some of them are hoping that you'll sense this intensity okay with honeymoon coming up i feel like a lot of your masculines are wishing hoping and praying that you'll at least text them and be like happy holidays like merry christmas happy thanksgiving like whatever the case is uh happy new year even um because you know they know a lot more than you guys realize like if this reading has found you your person knows a lot more like if they know the word twin flame and they don't like it they've never vibed with it because of the separation between you guys and the tables turning because those tables have turned and they're now starting to experience the intensity that you were once feeling for them that's why they're missing the way you used to want them because <laughs> they're now wanting you in the same way but it's like your back is turned right it's like you you gave so much that you couldn't give any more right it's like the, they they ran you dry type of thing and now they're feeling all of this intensity and your back is turned right so it's like you can't even soothe this person and, and soothe this intensity of missing you because it's like they 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 took too much without reciprocating and now they're feeling the effects of it but that's just the way it goes because it's going to teach them to pay attention to you know their own higher self and not to take counsel from people but to start making decisions for yourself okay and this could be something that many of your masculines feel just really like weak over like they feel kind of just like weak in that moment that they haven't like crossed that bridge yet into that emperor energy where it's like you make your own decisions and people have respect for that 
not the other way around. You don't make decisions because you're trying to earn other people's respect or admiration or you want to please them. It's like emperor energy is making your decisions and standing firm and making sure that those around you who love and support you, um, they don't have to like your decisions, but they will respect it. So yeah guys that's the quick check-in that i have for you like i said i don't uh, want to do too much of a long reading because i feel like i'm like <laughs> i keep feeling conscious self-conscious if you guys are even like understanding me <laughs> my words because i feel so stuffy um but that yeah guys like you know that's just the gist of it let's go ahead and just like at least get one one more here because we ended on express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture can we get a card on that so we have calling in your soulmate, okay? So before they make a romantic gesture, right now this person is praying on, like, bringing you both together, okay? So they'll make that romantic gesture, but I feel like first they need to, like, get your attention somehow. Um, because it says your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations bring you together. Like, I really feel like they're praying for you guys to reach out. <laughs> just because it literally looks like you know this energy is like affirmations like really wishing hoping and praying for your soulmate and that's why i'm saying like they know a lot about this journey more than you guys realize that's why they're they're missing you but they may be affirming it to the universe that they're missing you right they may be asking for the universe's help hey listen i'm missing this person and it's genuine and if if i could use a favor from you it would be to get this message to them get this feeling to them and, and and nudge them to reach out okay because they might have a whole bunch of things they're wanting to express but they're hesitating on reaching out because they don't know if they'll get anywhere right many of them don't even know if you'll respond if you'll open up the message um if you'll kind of like you know <laughs> like re re what is it ring them out reel them out i don't know how you say it but it's like cuss them out in a way but it's like not like obviously in a vulgar way but it's like you just kind of let them have it like don't call me like or you know like they're just worried about what your reaction will be so instead i feel like because this person misses you so much because it's genuine they're asking for the universe's help okay so i hope you guys have enjoyed this one you guys take it easy um thank you for your love in the last video about getting better um, i will definitely take your advice and like drink a lot of warm tea honey ginger the whole shebang <laughs> um so i'm gonna get to that right now you guys take it easy and be in this sleepy little beaver look oh she's so cute i didn't realize her ear <laughs> was poking out of the handle are you ready for dinner huh are you ready for dinner time yeah is that a yes I'm surprised Ariel hasn't caught meowing for dinner, huh? All right, guys, we love you. Take it easy, and we'll catch you soon, okay? All right, bye.